It was Liam Hemsworth's 29th birthday and Miley Cyrus celebrated it in a very cute way. In the hotly anticipated sequel to her 2008 banger Seven Things, she listed a lot more than seven things she likes about Liam. But they're not the only couple to remind you that love is real and not every relationship ends in tears and passive aggressive Instagram stories about finally getting the whole meal to themselves. So here's a list of our favourite celebrity couples. John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. John does cute things like introducing her with glowing words at award ceremonies and writing songs about her hair band at the day. Headband of the day, it's the headband of the day. Chrissy does cute things like throwing mini John parties and tweeting ba ha 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 loser about him. Amanda Stenberg and King Princess, aka Michaela Strauss. Not only are they two of the coolest and smartest young women, nay, people in the entertainment industries independently, together they co-wrote a song called Is <laughs> God. Troy Savan and Jacob Bixenman. As well as being potentially the most beautiful couple to grace the internet, they've also received the most coveted relationship approval. Ariana Grande setting a portrait of them as a phone background. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. Shared humour is the hallmark of any good relationship. And as Blake has said, Ryan's great because he has her laughing all the time, at appropriate places like funerals. Ryan, on the other hand, has said that he would take a bullet for her, unless their family is under attack, in which case he would use Blake as a human shield to protect their baby. True love. If Brexit has taught us anything, it's that one way to get around not having to make important decisions of your own is by declaring a vote of no confidence in someone else. Thanks, Jezza. So, here are some other things I have no confidence in for 2019. I have no confidence in the return of low-rise jeans. If the 10-year challenge has taught us anything, it's that emo fringes were bad and low-rise shorts should stay in 2009 and Instagram videos of Britney Spears dancing. No confidence whatsoever in airport drone security. I have no confidence in the new Cats film starring Taylor Swift and James Corden. I have no confidence in the Marie Kondo technique. You will attempt to fold your socks into tiny rectangles that stand up on their own, realize it's scientifically impossible, revert back to balling them like any normal human being, and live the rest of your life content in the knowledge that your socks are and will always be slightly saggy around the ankle. No confidence in you not losing one of your AirPods. Actually, no confidence in AirPods, full stop. Goes without saying that I've got no confidence in the Cheeto running the USA, but unfortunately he doesn't care at all about anyone's complete and utter lack of respect. He's too busy posing in front of mounds of fast food and making the caricature of America a reality. That all said, I don't want to be too neggy. There are some things I do have confidence in. I have confidence in the Toy Story 4 film, the death of single-use plastic, the return of the Spice Girls, cats and bowls, the rise of actually edible vegan meat alternatives, Generation Z being the only one smart enough to save the world, and the fact that whatever happens, the UK is democratically, politically, economically, and irreversibly <laughs> to eat delicious food, improve your health and save the planet? Well, there's a group of scientists who say we can. The Eat Lancet Commission have released a report on how we can achieve planetary health diets for nearly 10 billion people by 2050. 37 scientists from around the world have laid out a new food plan that they say has the potential to prevent 11 million deaths caused by unhealthy food per year, as well as preventing the collapse of the natural world that humanity depends upon. And guess what? You can still eat burgers, just less of them. If you're Donald Trump, a lot less. In fact, with the planetary health diet, you can and still eat nuts, beans, meat, dairy, eggs, carbs, and vegetables. It just means upping the plant products and cutting down the animals. Essentially, you can have about one burger a week and a couple of portions each of chicken and fish. Then you bulk up the rest with fruit, veg, and legumes. Obviously, this is much healthier for us than inhaling animal flesh at every meal. Sorry, keto dieters. But more importantly, it's much healthier for the environment. Because in case you haven't noticed, we're really f***ing it up right now, guys. But this plan gives us a bit of hope. Because not only are the Eat Lancet Commission giving us some practical tips on what we ourselves can do to help. They're also briefing the likes of farmers, policy makers and food service professionals. Because the onus can't be on us as individuals to do all the work. We need the big guys to get on board too. So can we do it? Only time will tell. But hopefully 2029's 10 year challenge will be a bit more encouraging when it comes to the planet. You're still definitely going to regret those designer crocs.